Our first project in the lockdown was to feed the Kayo project, and with that, we're able to feed over 150,000 people over a 10 day period 10,000 people in Accra and 5,000 people in Kumasi on a daily basis for more than 10 days. Then, after that, we decided to look at how we could support the front line. So we sourced and donated PPEs to Gaia East Municipality and to other health facilities. Then after that, we began to look at how best can we support the pandemic. And initially, I must confess, we're thinking of a temporary hospital. I think we were very lucky to have with us Justice Youngson, who's the General Secretary of the Ghana Medical Association. And Justice was very emphatic that Ghana needed a permanent infectious disease treatment center. And initially, it seemed like an outrageous idea because we all thought we're just going to put some tents together and increase the bed facility in case our numbers went up. And Justice kept on emphasizing this. We came to the conclusion, let's build something permanent. And I'm overwhelmed with the response we got from the built environment professionals the Ghana Institute of Surveyors, Ghana Institute of Architects, Ghana Institute of Engineers. Um, it's unbelievable to see Ghanaian professionals work together for Mother Ghana pro bono, that is for free. Within a week, they had designed and put together all the drawings for the hospital and they worked 24-7. Some are